what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be a spoiler free review for thanksgiving i was supposed to see this on wednesday but things changed i was able to see it last night this was a surprise i was talking about in my previous video because i know a lot of you follow me on twitter were expecting me to drop this sometime next week after wednesday but things changed i was able to see it last night had a good time but don't mind getting that right out of the way because yep this is one of the better slasher films i've seen this year but thanksgiving we know is directed by eli roth it is from a screenplay by Jeff Rendell. It is starring Patrick Dempsey, Addison Rae, uh, Nell Verloc, or Verlocky, Gina Gershon, Rick Hoffman, and several others. Now, the story here is revolving around a group of friends who, after a Black Friday ride ends in a tragedy, a mysterious Thanksgiving-inspired inspired killer terrorizes Plymouth, Massachusetts, the birthplace of the holiday, picking off residents one by one, and again, it's centered around this group of friends. What begins as random revenge killings are soon revealed to be part of a larger sinister holiday plan. So I would say that Thanksgiving is a decent enough holiday slasher that carved its way into my little horror addicted heart. Wouldn't really say it was great, but it's a solid nod to 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s horror movies like Final Destination and Cabin Fever, which also I believe is Eli Roth. What it lacks in likable characters, well, I would say minus one or two is, is excused, or I should say made up for, with the memorable kills that it offers. Several intense chase scenes, a lot of cat and mouse, and a consistent blend of horror and the right amount of humor that never feels out of place. Jeff Rendell's screenplay has more success in the departments I just mentioned in regards to the chase scenes, humor, commenting on how desensitized Black Friday sales seem to make us every year, or how violence against each other isn't even taken seriously in today's climate, but instead we use it to garner attention online uh, in the name of going viral there's also some very solid solid clues surrounding the killer that I don't want to spoil and a nice twist just for those of us who think we have it all figured out as predictable as the story might be in some regard in Jeff's screenplay I always say ask yourself this if you're someone like me who has seen a lot of whodunits is it really that predictable or were you just too smart to be fooled because there's so many people who have no idea or not that they have no idea, but they're not very familiar with whodunits, this would shock them. Uh, the more whodunits you watch, you just have to ease up a little bit because it's it's hard to really shock me. I, I will be quite honest. I think the last whodunit that genuinely shocked me, I think I want to say was I See You. Even that wasn't really framed as a whodunit though. But going back into Thanksgiving, I will still commend the sensible logical and coherent reveal that we got with a reasonable motive as well sadly the characters are just very forgettable and i don't mean our lead jessica who is way more likable and relatable than her friends who are basically very paper thin and hard to connect with the character dynamics are clear but there's not a lot of development there is all i'm trying to get at Jess is saving grace as she acts like she has a soul. She doesn't really like her stepmother and is still holding on to the past while trying to also put another recent tragedy behind her a year later. And she's also uh, kind of not in the same boat where her father is, who is the owner of Right Mart and his attitude towards the events unfolding even after what happened last Thanksgiving on Black Friday. So she's a lot more humanized than her peers and those around her. So we can connect with her and relate to her and want to see her survive this bloodbath. Uh, what I would say here with her friends, they're just like check off the list type of characters in a slasher. And in a lot of ways, as a fan of slashers, I still dug that because it made me nostalgic for those type of films that I grew up on. I believe her friends were named Gabby, Bobby, who is her ex-boyfriend, Ryan, her current boyfriend, Scuba, Yulia and Gabby's boyfriend who I simply can't care to remember you have your two jocks pretty blonde who really does nothing the whole film but act scared and then there's Jessica the one who we can connect with and again hope to see her survive the bloodbath she's hands down like just one of the better characters in the film and you will see that very clearly they're just not very likable people outside of Jess herself also I would go into some of my favorite kills definitely would be the oven kill and the trampoline kill and the dumpster kill all of those were iconic to me um uh, all the kills honestly are over the top but from what i've seen from eli roth in the past it's in line with past projects so nothing too shocking there the john carver slasher might be an icon in the making but time will tell all the nods to films like i know what you did last summer urban legend house of wax even final destination like i referenced earlier 
because there's there's this scene going to house of wax really quick there's this scene where a character is playing like mannequin if you will while hiding in front of the killer and it just reminded me of the house of wax theater chase that's all but all of the nods were a great touch it's a pretty straightforward screenplay with enough enough to satisfy a slasher fan like, like myself and many of you who watch me now the acting to me that was subpar to decent at best with patrick dempsey being the standout it's just at times the acting isn't very convincing and it's frustrating because nell nell verlock who stars as jessica she did great to me but her friends were the problem sometimes addison ray was great as well and so was patrick dempsey like i mentioned so for clarity when i say subpar to decent i mean everyone else but them and gina gershon she wasn't bad and a few others that i just didn't mention outside of the ones i named as being great eli roth did a fine job directing it otherwise there's great tension building suspense and even adding an anxiety feeling to the whole experience thanks to that wild opening sequence at right mart a lot of the gore is captured in a way that always made me wince or squirm in my seat just a smidge one kill in a bedroom definitely had me on the edge just for the focus on objects that the character was using they had a lot of focus on objects before the kill even came so i was already dreading it before it even happened so job well done there and again those chase scenes they really keep the intensity high for this film the best one definitely involving what leads to our oven kill that was the best chase scene in the movie i didn't even care about the character but that sequence was so well executed that i was disappointed that they didn't make it out I think the score was good. It chimed in at all the right moments, amplified the intensity of the chase scenes, solid pacing. Again, when it comes to them building suspense and tension, they don't just kind of squander it. They let it marinate. They let it kind of just sit there and get under your skin. And there's a lot of cool camera work and solid editing in the film. Very coherent to follow. Sometimes with a lot of films these days, the editing really just bothers me so i would have to commend them here definitely in the editing department uh i would have to give thanksgiving i want to give it a seven and a half i want to give it a seven and a half i will say this this is kind of like a sidebar comment i am very disappointed that addison ray was not our final girl i just think that when i saw her and when i saw how she was doing she probably, if they gave her a different role, they could have had like a cold final girl role going on there with those two being like these tight best friends, like a sisterly bond almost. So I was kind of disappointed at her usage. But other than that, it's a very good film and I hope you guys enjoy it when you see it. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. There's a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.